Oh. Hello everyone. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while because lately life has been hard for everybody. It always is. But um, there's this one thing that is a, an occurrence with like everybody I meet and I just think it's too much of a common issue and it needs to be addressed. Like just most people I know don't take any time really to prioritize and take care of themselves like whether that be their mental health having um as balanced of a diet as they can um getting enough activity and doesn't have to be intense working out but just like getting out doing stuff getting some fresh air um just self-care like baths uh skin care relaxing reading um just like really no time to self-improve and when you don't establish a set time or at least make sure that every week you have a set time to take care of yourself properly it really affects your mental health and prioritizing your mental health and the state of it is highly important and while that's harder for some people even just doing small steps is important like i'm so concerned Almost everybody I know doesn't even eat breakfast either. Not because they don't have food. It's because they just don't wake up either soon enough or if they do, they just kind of push that important part of your day off to the side. Well, some people eating in the morning right away does upset their stomach. Most people are able to eat in the morning, whether that just be a small bowl of cereal, some fruit, some eggs, like other protein, other quality breakfast foods, like carbs that will fill you up and get you energized for the day and help your brain function better. They just don't, like for me, breakfast is my favorite like meal of the day because I love just being able to wake up, make myself a nice breakfast and just feel satiated like in the morning and that if I work or if I'm doing other responsibilities or other activities in my life that I have that energy and I have that nice start point to my day by feeling myself. So it's just things like that. And I feel like, like I didn't take care of myself like a few years ago, probably ever since like high school, that's when I started taking care of myself properly and just making sure that um, I had enough time in the morning to relax after getting ready. Well, you may not need that time, it actually really helps because you're not just waking up and going to work or to school or to sports or to clubs, etc. Like that just really triggers your nervous system and just triggers a very like high stress response for most people. If all you do is you wake up, you put your clothes on, grab your stuff and walk out the door and immediately start a heavy task at the, like, at the beginning of your day and it's just not enjoyable like for some people okay but it's for most people it isn't beneficial like to so just to start your day off with something like that without having time to relax and focus on yourself even if you wake up 20 minutes earlier so listen to some of your favorite music um watch some tiktok videos of your favorite um tiktokers like anything positive reading a bit of um a lifestyle book or any other type of book you're into watching a bit of your favorite show like just doing that can just help your day start off immediately better like what i do in the morning so I'll, I'll get up i'll like put my contacts in um make my bed so that my room's like all nice and clean that's one thing i like to also start my day off with one thing like that that it's already done so my bed's already made. You don't have to do that, but it just makes you, you feel like you've completed something already, but it isn't something that is, uh, takes all your energy, but it just makes you feel like, wow, I've already accomplished this task today. Didn't require that much effort, but now I don't want to worry about doing that later. But yeah, so I'll do that. Um, and then I actually recently got myself these fuzzy slippers. They're kind of falling apart because they're not that expensive, but, um, yeah, I'll put these on and I think just having comfort items like this, you don't have to. It's very materialistic sometimes. But, um, 
I just don't like getting any dust on my feet because no matter if your floor is freshly clean, there's always going to be a little bit of dust on your floor. So I just do that just, it, and then it's just nice. And I'll have my coffee, I'll have my breakfast, and then I'll go work out, shower, get dressed, and start the other tasks of my day. So that I have that nice relaxing time where I can watch YouTube or listen to music or read some articles before I have to do my other responsibilities in the day. I'm still getting ready. I'm still following a morning routine, but I'm not like rushing myself at all. I just think having that set time where you prioritize yourself is so important, like it is. And most people don't do it. Being busy is amazing sometimes because you just feel like you accomplish so much, you're working towards your goals, but this is how people get burnt out is by not having free time to relax to reset your mind and just have some clarity. So if you're watching this and you feel like you haven't been taking care of yourself, don't feel ashamed, don't feel upset. It's totally normal because society, especially just promotes this image of that you have to be productive, you have to be doing this, that, and the third to get ahead in life. Well, that is true in some cases because now we have to work a million jobs or work side hustles just to make enough to afford the basic things most people i know have to do multiple things to do that or they really have to conserve their money and only reserve it for food bills rent all that stuff while that is an issue in our society like don't always feel like that work is your biggest responsibility in life because why would you want to spend all of your life just focusing on work like it may be your biggest passion in life but you also have to remember about yourself too because you aren't your work that is a part of you but you aren't just your work like you don't want to spend your whole life just working like just having even five ten minutes of free time each day where you just take that time to be mindful and do what you want to do. Playing instruments, just taking pictures outside, talking to friends, all that stuff just is so valuable because it helps your mental health stay more balanced and helps you enjoy life better because you're not just overwhelmed and consumed in life responsibilities. And I'm just so worried because yeah, just everybody just, not everybody, but so many people, too many people neglect themselves because of life factors that get in the way. So what I want you to do if you're watching this right now, I want you to write down a list of five things that aren't time consuming, but you, but you would like to do every day or every few days or every second day, just, just weekly, and that you can fit into your routine in like just whatever point of the day that you'd like to, and just make that a goal for these upcoming weeks to start doing those things and building some healthy habits of free time and prioritizing yourself because that will help you go farther in life. Like for me, I've taken a gap year. I'm not going back to school for another year or two because I'm saving money. I'm exploring exactly what I want to do so that I'm confident. Cause I'm not gonna be going to school for probably more than three years, like three years at the most. But it doesn't matter what age you are, you can always go back to school. You don't have to rush and stuff. But don't rush your life. Of course, don't procrastinate things, but just take that time to learn about yourself. Take on experiences, even if you don't think that they're necessary. If you really want to do stuff, do it. And just make sure that you are putting yourself first and living your life for yourself. Not for others, not for society, not for your job, especially if you're not happy with it. But yeah, just take that time 
for yourself so that you can enjoy life better and be happier. So let me know what you thought of this video and if you thought this was good advice and share your self-care goals and plans so that you can start taking care of yourself better and living life less rushed and just more comforting and then and focusing on your happiness so thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time